The silk piece youth camp before was very simple. Unlike today, we held the camp uh, with five days duration that covers a lot of things from the seminars of C culture of dialogue, the basic orientation, to focusing on the theme, like on good governance, then team building and leadership activities. So those five days is not as if we're not doing anything. It's filled with fun and um, fun activities as well as activities that could g let them grow as leaders in the future. The Silpis Youth Camp started way back here of 2000. It was composed of youth coming from the different walks of faith. Before conducting this youth camp, uh, we had we do a brainstorming with our core group members to come up with a good concept in every uh, camp that we are able to conduct. We send invitations to different schools and communities because we have link coordinators both in the schools and communities of Selsela. Then those link moderators or their teachers and community leaders will send their youth leaders to our center, to our office, for us to, to interview them, whether they are really willing to take the challenge. I am Alasar Alabi Toyo. I am 21 years old. I'm an Islam. I joined Silsila Solidarity Youth Camp on its ninth year, the ninth SSYC. It was Anti Rasma, one of the Silsila one, one of the Silsila worker, who told me so to join that camp. It was actually I I've heard I've, I've heard already the SSYC. It was my friend who joined that camp and told me that it's nice experience. Kui Kuya Shani. Um Liga, Liga yatu sin mga basketball players sa barangay na mo. Pag-uos, iasubo niya ako if mabaya daw akong makadasil sila. Mag-pilap mag lang daw ako form. Pag-uos, mato na kami sa uh, Silsila Center, amuna Joval Building. Then, yato na, yato ako dito, complete requirements na. Nagpa-interview na ako. Ang preto ako ka ba? Di ko kay ngatan bang unupain iyanon ko patal. First time ko may agad, uh, sila youth camp. So if we see those youth eager to join the activity, then definitely we we uh, ask them to, after the interview, ask them for, for an orientation, um, an orientation before the camp, so that they can, they will have an idea what to expect. In our youth camp, we, uh, we come up to have a better relationship among these uh, people uh, living in their own faiths to share their experience and at the same time to gain knowledge uh, for enlightening them themselves as a true Muslim or as a true Christian. For the theme of our youth camps, we decided um, more on the social issues because these are the things that the youth are greatly affected with. For example, in the past, we chose about uh, drugs, where we see youth are more in, um, created these biases and drugs because they don't have any formations, they don't have any values formations. The SSYC, we chose about the election. We invited speakers that can talk about um, how to be good voters. Then recently, and about good governance. My name is Kimberly Andrea Flores, a 15-year-old girl. I am a third-year high school student studying in Pilar College. So with the theme, good governance and leadership, I applied it talaga kasi here in school, I am the president of the class and then sa community din, president sa youth, as well as sa padayon, officer din ko. So, parang mga, ang mga learnings na ako ang nakuha sa campaign, na-apply na ako in a way that gina, 
ginashare tamen ako ang experience with my classmates, with my co-youth sa sa community. So this youth, if they will become leaders and have the authority to do to decide on things, they will be able to be more objective but still morally upright because they have undergone culture of dialogue and values formation. So hopefully they, they will make right decisions and they will not sacrifice any of their values. I'm Christopher J. L. Aninyon. Most of my friends call me J. The culture of dialogue would, would help you and would even empower you to know more about the person, to talk with the person before judging the person, to know the culture of the person before making any preconceptions about the person. And I think culture of dialogue is indeed very much needed in our society. Now. Mga bagong natutunan ko is all for one, one for all. Yung parang walang watak-watak na mangyayari, kooperasyon, at maging matatag sa lahat ng hamunin. In every team building, there should be a faith na makakaya mo talaga yan, na hanggang sa dulo, eh, mananalo ka, at malakas yung spirits mo na ma makukuha mo yung mga yung mga pangarap mo then yung um, mga learnings all about love God, love the nature, love the society and love the people na kahit hindi mo man kilala eh maging katanggap-tanggap sa iyo so the 12 SSYC parang it is not just for fun lang but more on moral and spiritual values during sa activity especially my most unforgettable moment Kat, that one kato nag ano um na okay kato kamang kamang and then it was so amazing kasi all of us are working hand in hand and then when we reach the finish line talaga most of us pride because we are so happy because we surpassed the trials the experience was so fun we have a lot of team buildings showcasing talent which is I didn't know that I have those kind of talent. Facing, facing new people from Manila, from 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 outside, from outside the Sambuanga. It was actually fun. You know what's happening? Fun, fun, fun. The first day, sa kami kasi hindi pa namin kilala ibat ibang tao ang nagkakasalubuwa namin, ibat ibang school. May mga classy, may mga common na tao na kilala ko na. Then yun getting to know. Ano yung mga weaknesses nila, yung mga strengths nila, kaya yun, nagkaroon ng kakaibang friendship at nagiging mas matibay hanggang ngayon. So my dream as a coordinator, as a youth coordinator of the Silpis Youth Program is that though our youth may come and go, but I am, I wish that whatever Wherever they go, they will have this unique quality as an in, as a instrument or a medium of peace. That wherever they go, they will respect other people, other culture, religion. My dream is for the youth is bringing the commitment itself to bring dialogue and peace in their community and at the same time in their schools after they will attend the camp and, and at the same time also they will integrate it and share this uh, to the young people around or to their friends so it, it, a small dream can be uh, having a big impact. Ang nabago talaga sa akin is yung emotion ko. Dati, 
Takot ako ngayon, I'm brave enough. And kahit na iba't iba yung mga dialogue namin, still there are times na mag-share kami. Kung yun ka, ako to, natanggap natin ang isa't isa na yung parang sapat na ito sa camp na to, yung parang hindi natin makakalimutan, nandito tayo unang nagkatagpo. I am so happy because in my own little way, I could help other people, especially my less fortunate brothers and sisters. And I think that's the very essence of having a community. When one day, you would try to embrace, not necessarily to embrace entirely what they believe in, but when you try to understand the faith and the culture that they have been that they've used into. So, I think there's no reason why people can go together and sit together in the table of brotherhood. What I am dreaming for now is a lot of youth, a lot of people will going to join this SSYC. Because it can really change your life. It can really change how you look like, how you look on the society, how you look everything, the way you deal with people. And that's what Silsila Dialogue Movement is trying to show to you.